What's up everybody? The tool cart's done. We're gonna be talking about what's inside, what's on its way to go inside, and just some updates for the channel. This cart is pretty easy to build. I did mess up one thing while I was building it. I didn't read the instructions. It's kind of my fault. I had some of the posts flipped and it will kind of mess you up. So make sure you watch when you build this cart that you have the four upright posts the correct direction or it's not gonna work. Keep in mind as we go through this, in no way is this all my tools. This is kind of just one project build. It's gonna be living with the race car and going wherever the race car goes, going out to the track and anything like that. When I travel, this is what's gonna come with me. So I'm building all this with the race car in mind of what's gonna be going with me. I do have other tools that sometimes I'll pick from when I'm at home or at my uncle's shop. So this vlog is going to be a little out of order today. Not sure how it's going to end up being put together. I'll figure that out later. The cart's almost all the way together, the US General cart, but I need to wait for Haley to get the top piece on. It's a little too heavy for myself to lift. Uh, it's a little awkward, it's just wide, and it's weird. So it's definitely a two-person job, and she loves helping me with this kind of stuff, so it's perfect. I'm just waiting for her to get home, and we'll get that on there. So first impressions of this cart. It's built really, really well for the price point. I think at $180 or something like that, you just can't go wrong at its price point. Uh, with the coupon, I think it was $180. Normally these are about $229, but the coupon is good until the end of the year. So if you want to pick one of them up, go ahead and use that coupon code, head down to Harbor Freight and pick it up. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. So starting at the top, it's where all my sockets are going to be living. I have the standard and the metric trays with a whole bunch of sockets that I got in the Husky set if you saw my previous video. Unfortunately, all the metric sockets did not fit. I do need to see if uh, Harbor Freight will sell just the socket holders. I ran out of space. But other than that, it seems to be doing the trick. I have this whole bar on both open. That is for half inch sockets. I don't have any half inch sockets at the moment, but I will be getting some. Overall, I think the socket tray is gonna work. It does need a little work still to make it uh, just kind of complete. Over here on the right, I do have all my screwdrivers. Two squares, three Phillips, and three flatheads. These are Milwaukee screwdrivers. Um, they feel really great, and uh, they're on the sale at Home Depot. So if you need Milwaukee screwdrivers, Go ahead and pick them up now because they're probably one of the best prices they're going to be. Over here on the left side, I have my digital tire gauge, two measuring tapes, another flathead. I use this one specifically for um, my quick disconnect panels on the race car. It's a little fatter than the other two, and I don't really care um, if it gets dropped, whatever. It's just a Pittsburgh. And I have also a breaker bar up here on the top. I have a flashlight. This is just the cheapy flashlight they give you when you buy some stuff at Harbor Freight with the coupon. I have this. It's a little speaker. It's also in the Home Depot deal aisle right now for the holidays. It was like $20 and it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's actually pretty cool. It's IP65 rated, I believe. So it's like water resistant, drop resistant, shock resistant, all that. Pick it up if you need a speaker for your tool cart. I don't think you can get a better deal than this, even on Amazon. And I have a couple of these magnetic tray holders just for miscellaneous bolts and that kind of a thing. Let's get down into the drawers starting up here. This is where the ratchets live. I have two of the 144 tooth Husky. This is just an old Craftsman I had laying around. I have these, which are some Husky extenders. Up here, believe it or not, this is actually a old school snap-on stubby. I don't know if you can see on there, but it's actually a snap-on, which is really cool. Um, I just found this when I was cleaning the garage. My dad must have had it somewhere buried. So anyway, put that in here. This is also a snap-on piece. I do need to see if they'll give me a new one. It's seized up and the ratcheting system no longer works. So I'm gonna see if they'll give me a new one, but um, it is snap-on. I also have some more snap-on stuff that I found over here, some more extenders, a smaller breaker bar, and this like, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, but a flexible extender. Up here, um, pick and hook set, it's the Husky. Coming down to the next drawer. This is where the stubbies live right now. Eventually, I'm gonna be getting a holder for these and I think it'll be kind of living up here, but I do have a lot of room in this drawer, so I'm still figuring out kind of where everything goes in the whole toolbox. So, um, yeah, just kind of a work in progress for now. Down here, this is where right now my ratchets are. These are the ratcheting wrenches. Um, I should say these are where my ratcheting wrenches are. I do have some open space in this um, Pittsburgh wrench holder. These are four, they hold 14 wrenches or 15 wrenches and there's only 10 in each. So I'm not sure what I'm doing there. I'm probably gonna be cutting that because I just need to save room because I do need to get all my Tecton wrenches that I ordered that are coming in the mail hopefully next week in here. So I need to make room. So I'm gonna be figuring out how to kind of organize all of that. Moving down to this bottom drawer. This is where all my pliers are and my vice grips. They're all living in this US general. 
general plier holder. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It seems kind of flimsy. These dividers are a little hard to move and the more you move them, the more flimsy they get. I don't know if it'll hold up over time, but I guess we'll just find out. We'll hold on to it. I do have a lot of other room in here. Um, this is not going to be living in here permanently. It's kind of just sitting in here for now. Um, just like this snap-on beanie and the safety glasses. This is all open, so I do have room here for uh, whatever I need to put in here. So hopefully soon we'll figure out what goes in there. And coming up to this last door, if you thought everything was color-coded, well, this is where it gets broke because I have DeWalt. I've been rocking DeWalt for a long time, and I had a lot of DeWalt stuff laying around, so I decided to get this DeWalt set. It was also on sale. I got it about, I don't know, four months ago or so, and because I already had DeWalt, I just decided to keep with it because I already had batteries and I already had chargers. So this is a DeWalt Impact and a DeWalt uh, regular drill, and they're holding up. I mean, I, I've always been a fan of DeWalt. I, eventually, I probably would switch to Milwaukee, but for now, the DeWalt's doing the trick. Well, that's a little look at the tool cart, what's in there now. Like I said, there's a lot that needs to get done. There's a lot that needs to get added to it, a lot of organization that needs to get done, but it's kind of just an update. It's by no means complete. We are going to be doing an aesthetic mod, do it hopefully next weekend. I just ordered some Plasti Dip, so we're going to be Plasti Dipping all of the chrome handles on the cart and the U.S. General Badge black. Um, we'll see how it turns out. It is removable if it doesn't turn out good for whatever reason, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Well, that'll almost about wrap up the video before we finish because this whole channel right now is gonna be kind of built around the race car and all that involves that. I do wanna give a little update. Um, I just started pulling off all of the stickers from the car. Um, if you remember before, this had the previous owner's number, the previous owner's name, a lot of his sponsors and all that kind of a thing on it. And I just went ahead and I pulled off that one side. I'll be getting to that other side, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. We're gonna be completely painting the car, like I said. Um, we're gonna be doing a gray, and we're gonna be getting all new decals, all new graphics. It's all gonna be changed. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Again, hopefully um, by the end of the year, we're gonna be finishing up all the other little pieces that I need to get out on the track. Um, my racing suit, my helmet, all that kind of stuff. Choosing what I'm gonna be getting because I have no idea where to even start with a lot of that. So we're gonna be going through that whole process and I'd love to have you guys along for the journey. Thanks for watching. See you next time.